Hi there, Scorpio. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to do your July 2017 general reading. This is for the month of July. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it is pouring outside. And I, I, uh, I like to do my readings with the window open. This is for Scorpio. What do you have for Scorpio? For the month of July. Thank you to all the subscribers, watchers, likes, and comments, and all the bookings. I really appreciate it. You guys have kept me very busy, so thank you very much. Uh, the best way to book a reading is to send me an email, which is uh, my email address is listed below. I will send you the invoice via PayPal or Square, and we'll set up a time, and I will send you a private video just like the one that you are about to watch. I don't do Skype, I don't do phone because I like to get the messages that are meant for you without your interference. And I also don't, um, I don't go look anybody up. Nope, I want to get the pure messages without having my judgment in there. This is for Scorpio, July 2017. Boy, is it pouring. Scorpio, July. I think we're just about done. I know you guys are getting impatient. Come on now. Feel the cards. There we go. Getting some lightning here, too. Just for you, Scorpio. Alright. So it looks like there's some kind of um, movement moving on. Um, perhaps towards a fire sign or an air sign. Actually, you're, you're probably moving away from the air sign and towards the fire sign. The fire sign is Leo, uh, Sagittarius, or Aries. This one is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and they're pretty upset with you. They're pretty upset, okay? This is Cancer. This is a Cancer person, but um, it's about moving on. They're upset, they're ups you know, they're upset with your movement, whatever, you, whatever your decision was. They're not happy with what you've decided. Okay, whether it's moving or what it, something in your relationship, some kind of decision that you've made, they are not happy with um, this uh, air sign. This right here is a um, fire sign, and it looks like she is part of your life in the beginning of the week. Um, perhaps the, there's talk of engagement or marriage or um, bringing the relationship to another level um, looks like you're feeling really really content with who you are Scorpio this is at the end of the week of the first week of July looks like you're feeling really good you're feeling on top of the world maybe you maybe there'll be a, a something with this person, this fire sign, some kind of gathering, some kind of get together. You could attend a wedding or a marriage or or get engaged yourself or um, something like that. What about the second week? Scorpio. What do you have for the second week for Scorpio? 
you're moving forward on something. You finally decided to make a decision. You know, we get the first day of the week. It looks like you're close to um, choosing something or making a final decision, but you haven't quite made it yet, but you're very close. The, towards the second day, you know, in July, you probably have made that decision. Okay, and it probably was going to make somebody upset with you. Um, and that's by the third day, you know, you're hearing some backlash. On um, the fourth day, you're concentrating on somebody else. It's a fire sign, man or woman. Woman, okay. Fifth day, um, fifth and sixth, this is towards the end of the week. Um, it looks like you've, you know, you have all the resources to succeed and probably with this person, I mean, as together. Because here there's a celebration of probably a commitment of some sort. In the past, there's been some lies and deceit, and that's probably why you're moving forward. You're moving on to something, something because there's been some trickery. All right, and it just about killed you. Okay, but it's the end of that. It's the end of that situation. This is the clear-cut end. Okay, it's time. This is the end. And when this card comes up, there's nowhere to go but someplace else. <laughs> and here's your new beginning. Isn't that beautiful? It's away from this person and towards this person. Okay? This is the second week. This is the second week of July. You're still thinking about this the second week of July. Or they are. They are. They, you both are, actually. You know, and you feel deceived. You feel tricked, cheated. You feel cheated. All right. You're still thinking about it the second week, okay? Um, even though you're happy here, you're still thinking about it the second week. And then here, um, you maybe you finally woke up and said, you know what? My future is here. My future is stable right here. Okay? I mean, the hand is headed right here stability security manifestation prosperity look at where it's headed and this is about taking action you need to take action with this this is an action card and this is an action card and you need to take action to secure this Your commitment is definitely with a fire sign. That is my guess. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Perhaps they complete you. Okay? And your time is now. The time is now to act. Act now. Think later. Act now. Think later. Scorpio. You want this security? You want the stability? You want that stable uh, home or life? Right here you didn't have it. This is your wake-up call. Absolutely, this is your wake-up call. You know, it's time to act. It's at the end of the second week. You're really, perhaps, you're gonna take take another step towards this security with this person, okay? Because, but then, in the third week, the third week, we have um, this is a wake up call. This is an awakening. It's the truth, okay? It comes up. There's no more confusion. It's clear. It's clear where you need to go. This is a wake-up call. And it leads to this. Okay? It leads to this happily ever after. This re this union. Don't be worried about the your security, okay? If you know what I mean, don't be worried about it. Even though here, you know, now because you've been cheated and lied to, you're insecure. You're insecure. So you're holding on. You're holding on to your assets because you're scared. 
don't worry about it. This person doesn't care about anything that you have or don't have. Because that you guys will manifest it together. You build it together. Not alone. Okay. It's time to move forward. You need to really, really, really get out of your shell. Okay? I see that you have been lied to. Okay? But th it's time to make a decision. Okay? No more of this. It's, this is over. It's over. You've hit the bottom. It's over. It's time to go. And it doesn't matter who's mad. Whatever. Tough shit. Don't let your fear block you from obtaining this security and abundance. Okay? Don't let your fear ruin it. You're not gonna because you're gonna have this awakening. Just give this is just a little heads up. You've been through a lot that doesn't, you've been through a lot with this person, okay? That doesn't mean this person is going to be the same way, just saying. This person is kind, they give, they share, they're unique, they're confident, they're enthusiastic, they're adventurous. All right, and you're you're definitely gonna get the clarity you that you need, that should cause you to act, okay. And you might act the third week. You might finally the second week. You might be like, you know what? It's time for me to act. I really gotta figure this out. What am I gonna do? And then the third week, you really, you know, maybe you act. Then you have to let this go, okay. You're moving away from something. Yep. You've been persistent. You've tried. You've done everything you could. And there's you can't do anything else. It was insecure. There, you did all that you could do. I mean, you can't... You can't do anymore. You've done all that you can do. And that's why you, you're heading in another direction. And the relationship, this is, wasn't equal. It wasn't equal. The past relationship wasn't equal. Whatever it was, whether it was a job or a love or whatnot, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't on an even keel because you were, you were very worried about your security, all right? You were insecure. So you were, you were like... Uh, Sucking it all in as much as you could get because you know you were so insecure. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Because you you knew you were gonna lose it. You knew you were gonna lose it. Whatever it is. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Look at right over here. I don't know if you can see that fire, Scorpio. Over here. This is towards the end of the month. You act, okay? You act on your hunches. You act now. Think later. later just do it, okay? You have this awakening. You act. And then it leads to happily ever after. And this, a commitment, a major com Look at, I mean, it's a major commitment. Could be a marriage. Could be... Could be even an anniversary, you know. Maybe your relationship has been on the rocks, and it's time to fix it. I see that you're gonna have a wake-up call, 
and it's going to bring love, okay? You've been depressed over this shit. Over this shit. You've been depressed, but that depression is going to go away, and it's going to turn to, you're going to wake up, and it's going to turn to, to this. A union between two people. And this. I mean, it's looking at this, a happily ever after. Because this offers the clarity that you need and it sends love. Okay, this is sends love. And it's a dreamy, fantasy, um, too good to be true kind of love. Okay, it's a too good to be true. But it's not, it's true, it's true, Scorpio. Let's see what we can get over here. What else for Scorpio? Do we have anything other than love here? This looks like a love reading to me. I mean, it could have to do with work, but I don't think so. Mm -mm. I think this is a love reading. I think you leave, you've you left somebody behind and you're moving on. Or you're thinking about leaving somebody behind and you're moving on. Could be a job. It could be. You're thinking about leaving a job behind and moving on. But I don't think so. I really don't. My gut and my intuition says this is a love reading. So forget about that job stuff. And if you don't like the reading, that's fine too. You don't expect everybody to like it. I tell it like I see it. And that's the way it is. And if you don't like it, then carry on. The dreamer. A leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities. This is the fool. Look at this. It's perfect right here. Over this, over this chariot. It's moving forward. Following your true self, not following others, believing in yourself, um, having faith and trust. You you're, don't even think about the risks. It's about moving forward, okay? On your path, on your spiritual path, on your, on your soul's path, okay? Moving forward without worry. Okay? Expect opportunities. Unexpected opportunities. Absolutely. That's what's happened. Look at this life experience right over the world. Where's the world? Not here. Damn it. Where is the world? We need the world card. <laughs> For some reason, the world card needs to be here. It should be right here. The world card is a major completion in your life. Alright? It means that you have ended one cycle, or one life experience, or one life lesson, anything major, and you begin a new one. It's, it's the card right before this one, because it's the last card in the deck, and this is the first card. And that's that's why this came out. That's why it came out because it's the same same kind of thing. When you get the world card, something has ended and something new begins. And this is the new beginning. It's the rare. It's the starting over. It's the starting over card. <laughs> it basically means the same thing as this: a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. <laughs> Like I said, the world card goes right there. <laughs> That's not the world card, but it's the same thing. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Good change, Scorpio. Okay, and the revelation is the, the second to third week. Okay, and then the revelation, that's your wake-up call. The same thing. All right. <laughs> and this fourth week, it looks like you might be offering some love. Mm -hmm. Or you might be feeling love. There's a lot of love this last week of July. Look at it all. Balance and love. 
No doubt. <laughs> oh, love it when this ship comes in together. Isn't that just great? It's the unexpected choice in love. Unexpected opportunities. Intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. This is the lover's card. The lover's card means that something unexpected came in pretty quickly. Completely unexpected. And presented you with a path to love. And you just, you, you probably weren't ready for it. And you probably thought, no way, I'm not doing this. But the connection was, I'm not ready for it. Back to that, I'm not ready for it. But the universe said, you know what? You're meant to be together. So I'm going to make your magnetic attraction so strong that you're going to have to follow it. <laughs> That's what this is. We're going to get a couple of these angel romance cards because I think your, your soulmate's going to come out. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens for July. I think you've already met this person, most of you. And you feel it and you're still just holding on to something shitty, for lack of a better word. Somebody told me I need to get a dictionary. Why they don't like my language? I'm sure there's a lot more other readers out there that uh, can pretty it up for you. Retreat. It's time to dis disconnect from the world. Yes. Get over this shit. Because shit seems to be the word for you. You need to get over it. Okay. Get over it. And the only way to get over it is to really take the time to get over it. I don't care if it's 24 hours or whatever it takes. Meditate. Go within. Work it out. Plan your path. Be alone. And release it. Release it. This goes over here in this past. Because that's what it's connected to. Mmm. Could be any kind of addiction. Could be smoking, could be drinking, could be pot, could be cigarettes, could be food, could be sex, could be whatever, could be cleaning, any kind of addiction that you could be spending money. Could be anything. And you you know what the biggest thing that a, that somebody that is addicted says? I'm not addicted. I'm not, I'm not addicted to any but anything. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> I do. This is beautiful. And to the person that said to me, "It annoys me when you don't show me the cards." I suggest you go look someplace else for a reader. Because this is how I do it. And if you don't like the way I do it, then you don't watch me. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yay. This is someone from your past. Could your, be your childhood. Could be somebody you went to school with. This could be somebody that you worked with 20 years ago. Could be somebody from a past life. They're right here. This is the unexpected pull. So this is for the month of July. It looks really, really, really good. Perhaps you're going to make some kind of commitment. Oh, and even if you don't mention it to the person, you might make the commitment within yourself. Okay? Um, and it looks, you know, there's still some crap that needs to be sorted out um but you're getting there and you're gonna finally make a decision okay you are and it's gonna lead you 
towards happiness and love. And I think it looks like a great, great month for you. I don't see anything about f finances except for down here. You're worried, you, the security and stability. You know, I th you see that you were worried about that. Um, but other than that, you know, it looks like the first week and the second week you have a little bit of work to do still to release this. You make the final cut. You move forward the first week. Here you're still thinking about it. It's still, it's still affecting you. But towards the middle of the week, you know, you're starting to change your thoughts and move towards, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. All right? Because I just, I can't. I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to release it. And you're going to act. That's, that's what you do. When you act, you release it. You act. And when you release that, perhaps you, you know, bring it, you, it brings you closer to this person. Because this person is all over the place here. Alright? I think they're the ones that this commitment is tied to. And I think it's a new... July 2017 this is towards the end of the month if you haven't you could be already in this relationship with this person okay and this is just reiteration that this is the truth alright if you're not it's coming this when I say this reading is for July this reading is supposed to be for July it could be any time, really, in the near future. It could have, or in the past, it could have already happened. Or it could be, you know, August 5th, you know. And, and your free will plays bigger, the biggest part of all. So if you say, oh, that's not the way it is. It didn't happen like that. Well, yeah, you're right. You're you, and this reading is for... Tons of people with different situations. Okay? To get a personal reading, you have, I mean, to get that information that really pertains to you, you have to have a private reading. It's just the way it is. I mean, a lot of this will pertain to a lot of you. It will. And this is for the, the a general audience of Scorpios. But our, our own free will in our own personal beings, in our own situations, our own everything comes into play. So this is just a, it could be, it could be, this could be what's going on. This is what I think is going on. But I am not God. And there you have it, Scorpio.